Level X makes video games for doctors. We capture the challenges of medical practice, uh, be it diagnosis, clinical challenges, surgical challenges, difficult cases. We capture them as video game mechanics um, that doctors can play on their phones. Doctors can intubate patients. Doctors can perform interventional cardiology procedures, restoring blood flow to the heart by placing different tools. Um, they can remove tumors from um, the patient's large intestine. Uh, they can remove foreign objects like uh, a nail that's lodged in a patient's throat. Um, all sorts of high risk, interesting, challenging procedures and diagnostic cases. So back in 2012, my father, who's an anesthesiologist, asked me to build him a game to train his colleagues to do a fiber optic intubation. I sat down for three weekends with some video game technology and I threw a game together and I uploaded it to the app store, thinking it would just be for him and his friends. Two years later, he called me up and asked me how many people downloaded it. I said I had absolutely no idea because I hadn't looked at it in years. Um, I went and I checked and we had 100,000 doctors, nurses, and airway specialists who had been playing the game. So at this point, I realized clearly there was a tremendous amount of demand for this sort of thing for doctors, um, and that was the motivation for starting Level X. All of our games run in both AR and VR, games that let you place a virtual patient on the table and, or on the floor and perform an intubation or perform CPR. Uh, we've done that in partnerships with uh, medical device companies as well as with major medical societies like the American Heart Association. We are consistently shocked by the reality that the video games industry in terms of the visual quality and realism that it delivers is consistently 10 to 20 years ahead of the state of the art in medical training. Um, I can show you examples of high-end medical simulators that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and have the visual quality and the realism of a video game out of the mid-1990s. Right? This is what doctors are used to. They're used to simulation graphics that are just not very realistic. Um, and video games, their graphics and their physics and the realism is 10 to 20 years ahead. And at Level X, we're utilizing that technology and as well as the neuroscience of video games and we're bringing it over um, to create high fidelity experiences, fun experiences on mobile.